What is up guys? Welcome to Talk Story with Propeller Live. My name is Yasu and thank you so much for joining us this week. We have Hawaii Theater joining us right after this. But before that, roll the intro. What is up guys? Welcome to Talk Story with Propeller Live and for thank you so much for joining us and for you guys that are watching it for the first time um, on our channel or on Hawaii Theatre's channel. Um, so this is where we kind of bring guests onto our show uh, for multiple different kinds of businesses, different kinds of reasons. We've had photographers, we've had wedding coordinators, we've had local business owners, restaurant owners, all kinds of people joining us on Talk Story with Propeller Live and we just you know kind of talk story here and kind of you know hear their story and what they do and what they're passionate about and that kind of stuff. And this week we have Hawaii Theater joining us today. We're going to be talking about the Gift of Aloha concert that's going to be held this Sunday, which is the day after tomorrow, uh, from 2 p.m. That's going to be broadcasted um, on KJOIN2. So um, first of all, make sure you guys have KJOIN2 if you want to watch that. But before that, um, we have been working with Hawaii Theater for the past couple of weeks and uh, we've been making the segmented videos that are actually going to be broadcasted during the Gift of Aloha concert. And so there will basically be kind of three different videos that kind of portray the history of Hawaii Theater and where they're headed and that kind of stuff. And uh, we, I was, uh, I've had the opportunity to, to kind of be a part of that uh, production and I actually was able to make a behind the scenes vlog for that project. So uh, we have a uh, 30 second video to show you guys today. Uh, the full version is on our YouTube channel but for today I'm going to show you guys a shorter version. I don't know about you guys but I think it's pretty cool to be able to stand on the stage of Hawaii Theater and kind of vlog. So these videos that Propeller is working with the Hawaii Theater is really about telling the story of the theater, so preserving the past. Alright, so that is the behind the scenes of the production that we were part of. So that's, you know, just a 30 second clip of it but if you want to watch the full version it's on our YouTube channel so go check out Propeller USA on YouTube if you want to watch the full version me personally I've never I've shot in front of Hawaii theater for you know weddings and that kind of stuff for multiple multiple times but I've never been inside until being a part of this project so if you have never seen the inside of Hawaii theater um, definitely go check out the vlog or uh, watch the Gift of a Law concert <laughs> this Sunday. And anywho, so we have Avery here today from Hawaii Theater. Thanks for joining us, yes. Avery. Thank you for having me. Thank you. So, um, uh, so the Gift of Law concert is coming up this Sunday. Yes. But before that, I just want to kind of um, share with everybody the you know the history and the introduction of Hawaii Theater. You know where it's been, where it started, and why is it at where it's not now? Yeah. And that kind of stuff. Yeah, absolutely. So the Hawaii Theater was built in 1921. So we were built on the corners of Bethel and Pauahi Street. Right. So we've been there for 98 years. Wow. And so for us, you know, we were built as a movie theater. Right. Film house from Consolidated Music Company. And so we were a film house for a movie theater, really, for, oh, I want to say maybe 60, 70 years. And so, so that's in 1921, right? Starting from 1921. <laughs> so the really cool thing that, you know, when I joined the company, I learned that there's an organ that right. we have, that we still have that actually was played back in the day because there was no sound in the movies, right? right? It was so you, black and white. Black and white, no sound. So you had the, the organist sitting in the pit that was dropped just be enough below the stage where they could still see the screen, right? right, right. but they had a, a cue, a uh, score sheet, right. right? So they had to follow. And there's actually 1,400 pipes in our theater still. Wow. Most people don't really know where they are, um, but it has every sound. It's not just the piano. It's every sound you could possibly think of. And that's what they needed back in the day. And so really over time, they were playing films, it was, you know, the place to be. Mm -hmm. We were one of five theaters that Consolidated had built, but mm -hmm. we were really that state-of-the-art venue. We were that prize gem at the time. Right. And, you know, over the years, you know, like I said, we were just playing films and eventually they got into shows. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as technology advanced, mm -hmm. right? So when was the kind of like the transition from like, from 
a movie theater to because now it's more like a mm -hmm. theater you know it's not yeah. for movies it's more for like yeah so back in you know around 198 the maybe the early 1980s there the process had started to form the nonprofit because mm -hmm. at one point the theater started to you know it was starting to become in bad condition and you know at the time it wasn't historic building yet and yeah. so a group of volunteers came together who loved this theater and they formed the Hawaii Theater Center mm -hmm. and you know the stories that we were told of what it took to save the theater to get the theater you know they the theater is really stripped of a lot of things mm -hmm. the theater was in a bad condition you know the part of the murals that were painted were destroyed or had a hole in it right, right? Yeah. and so a lot of things were missing and so the really 1984 started the transition into this nonprofit and so it but it took quite some time so even though we started 1984 they were still doing some shows like I just learned recently I believe it was like 1986 they actually did the 50th anniversary of Gone with the Wind and okay. they did a film it was a fundraiser for the theater at one point and so but fast forward you know they had to you know the theater went, went into raising money we had a lot you know big supporters who helped us to raise you know really 32 million dollars to get thirty-two million yes, dollars. Thirty-two million dollars to think, restore the to re whole just thing. yeah to put the whole thing back. So one of the things when you walk into a theater, they had to really recreate what the theater looked like back right, in right, the day. Right. And so you know, obviously some things have been updated, but you look at our carpet; it has the um, pineapple, which is the right. international symbol of hospitality. We have that all over the place in our theater, but it's very unique to us. And so mm -hmm. you know, it really you know we reopened our doors back in May of 1996. You know, and it was really a time of, you know, just this is a brand new thing. It was, it really helped to reshape the community we were in. And by the time of 1996, I'm assuming out of the five theaters there were, it's the known, how many most, were? I think from what I was told, I think of either almost all, either all or almost all of them have were been already. either demolished or, you know, were converted to something else. You know, it's unfortunate, but you know, it was of the times and, you know, we're very fortunate to have had this group of volunteers who were so impactful, you know, our, what we call the founders who saved this theater, right? Yeah. So, um, like coming from 1921 to, you know, it's the 90th year right now. So um, very unexpected 90th year, I would say. Um, yeah. So what's the kind of the situation of, you know, right now during 2020, you know, during this pandemic and all that? Well, you know, it's actually been around for 98 years. So we're actually really close to our centennial. But, you know, we, you know, since 1996, we've, become, you know, become more of a performance venue. Mm -hmm. We're the, you know, we're not just the performing arts. We also just still do films mm -hmm. here and there. But we've done quite a bit of shows. We presented our own shows. And so we've become that say the art performance venue, mm -hmm. you know. And it's like it's, the place to perform. You exactly. Know, it's like for Hawaii. And it's actually, you know, really the right seats. We have 1,400 seats in our theater and you, you really, they're what we say, there's no really bad seat in the house. You right. can still see, you can sit all the way in the back. You can still see the stage, right? Yeah. So, and it's such a, just this beautiful venue. I mean, it's really the, the restoration kept everything the same. Mm -hmm. And so now, 98 years later, you know, we were, we're doing a lot of shows, a lot of shows, you know, we're, you know, we're growing as an organization, you know, we, you know, have taken on a lot, you know, we've, it's, it's a lot to take mm -hmm. care of this San Diego building. And so, you know, we've presented our own shows, you know, we've had uh, Adam Trent, you know, we, uh, Howie Mandel have come down, you know, quite a, all the stars have come down. Here. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty interesting. So in terms of like this, this upcoming Sunday, the Gift yep. of Aloha concert, just kind of give us the big con, like a little bit of context behind, um, what is it, mm -hmm. um, what is it for? And you know, what, you know, just kind of give us some yeah. information about it. Absolutely. This concert has never been done before at the theater. This is, it's the Gift first of time. Aloha. Yeah. This is actually the first time it is something of a magnitude that we've never taken on before this organization. Yeah. So it is exciting to be, I'm glad to be the event director of it. I'm so excited. It's a lot of work, but you know, we spent four months planning this dedicated committee who's been helping us put this together. It's really our gift to, it's a gift to the community really, because you know, this 2020 is not the year we all thought it was going to be. And yeah. it's, it's a tough, you know, we're entering into the holiday season. Yeah. It's, you know, it's still, you know, people are interested to travel, you know, they, they haven't seen family. And so this is our gift to the community just to really bring hope back to our yeah. community. I really hope it heals the community in these challenging times and really just kind of put a smile because, you know, Hawaiian music is great. I mean, we have a star-studded lineup. I, yeah. I'm so excited. I mean, we are less than 40 hours away from this show. Yeah. Um, you know, we have John Cruz, Taimani, Amy Hanai Lee, 
Henry Capone yeah. and the Makaha Sense. I am so excited. Um, a show like this has never been done before, mm -hmm. and it's free. That's the that's yeah. the best part. It is free because we want to give the gift to the community. But the one thing is that this is also a fundraiser for the theater. I mean, we have been hit hard due to COVID nineteen. You know, we rely on ticket sales mm -hmm. as a major revenue source for this mm -hmm. theater. I mean, we lost about 90% of our revenue. Our last show was at the end, I believe it was the end of February. Mm -hmm. You know, so like we- Right been, before everything. Exactly, yeah. so we've been dark for practically 10 months. Yeah. And so, you know, it's it's been tough. You know, mm -hmm. the, like many organizations, we've gone through quite a bit, you know, staffing reductions and, you know, had to re reassess our approach on a lot of things. Right. And so, you know, um, under our current leadership, we've actually pivoted into live streaming. You know, it's taken off. It's you know, it's a beautiful theater. Yeah. I mean, most people see the theater from seeing the auditorium. We've yeah. actually flipped that, where now you see the auditorium as this backdrop. Yeah, it's yeah. just this, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's a breathing, yeah. right? You, like you said, you've never been in the theater before, and you just standing on that stage is just it's. That like you just, look up and then it's, it's just, like amazing, you know. Yeah. You know, you're like just oh my goodness. So you know, going back to this concert, it's just this crazy event that we're pulling off mm -hmm. and you know we've had so many supporters who have stepped up and you know propeller of course has been huge and instrumental into this <laughs> uh, we're so grateful for propeller's partnership and you know like you mentioned those videos talk about you know it's this uh, like our tagline is really preserving the past right. you know performing today and preparing for tomorrow which right. is very fitting for this year right. what does next what does the future look like for us right. you know and so we you know talk about that we interview keep partners, key individuals who've mm -hmm. been so supportive of us. Um, and you know, really cool part I meant to mention is we actually have this thing called a ribbon wall. Oh, right, right, right. It's never, I don't think it's ever been done before. Mm -hmm. And I started to see some renderings of it. And it's not just, it's not just painting. It's not, it is something where it's actually people donating actually are part of this wall, right? right? So if you donate a certain amount, you get a ribbon is added to mm -hmm. the wall. You know, our sponsors have ribbons on the walls and it actually paints, it. Quote, I guess, quote, unquote, paints a picture right. of this design that's been made, you know, by this group called Quiet Revolution Without Speakers. It's really cool. I'm so excited for it. Um, you know, it's, um, it is just crazy. We've never done it before. So it's really cool to see the transformation in a three hour time right. span. So we'll be able to see the, you know, the finished wall as well at Absolutely. the end. Um, also with, you know, multiple artists yes. performing during the live and you can watch it on K20. Yes, absolutely. From 2 p.m. At 2 p.m. You can even go to our website and watch this. Oh, get really? a, yeah, you can get a live stream link oh. and you can watch this anywhere. Oh. So we did it at 2 p.m. because we know it's the right time in, across the country. Right, right, right. Um, you know, because we, you It'll know, like we know. 8 p.m. in New York. Yeah, exactly. Right? It's not too late. It's yeah. a Sunday night. You know, it's a good thing to watch. I mean, we want, of course, we want everybody to watch this yeah. show till the end. I mean, there is a great surprise at the end of the show. Um, you know, one of the other things with this ribbon wall, actually, we're actually going to display it through the end of the year. Oh, okay. So, so it's, it's going to be... Really, yeah, so you can drive by the theater and you'll see this, this. there's these windows right at the corner of Bethel and Pauahi. It's on Bethel Street. Mm -hmm. And you'll see the wall in there. Even if you walk by, you'll see this wall. Oh, what cool. the actual... And it's, you know, we're still going to, you know, continue to work on it throughout the... Through right, right, right. Before the month, but it's really cool. Oh, okay. So, yeah. like, you, can, you you even have a chance, if you live in Hawaii, you'll have the chance Absolutely. to actually look at it until the end of the year. End of the year, okay. yeah. Well, that's cool. So, I mean, super excited to actually be a part of that yep. personally as well um, Sunday. I'm yes. super stoked to um, see how that's going to go as well. But um, anything else you want to add? No, I mean, well, you know, of course, like I said, thank you to you guys <laughs> for having me on here. Yeah. You know, and it's, I say this concert, you know, it's really, you know, it's free. It's, you know, we, we just want everybody to watch this. Mm -hmm. I mean, again, this is something that's never been done before. It's again, it's literally in the name. It's the gift of Aloha. We yeah. want people to just be able to smile and hopefully this brings uh, some joy back to everybody and really be able to just, you know, heal this community. I mean, right. we are going through tough times and we'll get through it as a community, right. you know, and of course this all supports the theater in the end when I mean, we are a nonprofit, but yeah. Cool. So, I mean, thank you so much, Avery, Absolutely. for joining us today. And um, if you guys are watching this right now, make sure you go check it out Sunday from 2 p.m. on KTRN2 or at um, Hawaii Theater's website. Um, it's definitely worthwhile watching, so make sure you guys tune in Sunday afternoon. And I will see you guys next week with Propeller Live on set. We'll be performing live from our lanai next week. And we'll be performing Wednesday, not Friday, starting next week. So I will see you guys next Wednesday. Thank you, Avery, for joining Absolutely. us. Absolutely. Thank you for and, having me. Uh, thank you so much. So I will see you guys next week.